Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. This is me Krishi and in today's video I will be sharing the next project of Java. So yeah, this is an interesting project. So today we are working on a graphical app wherein we have to know the area of shapes. So yeah. Three things which are given to us is that shape class is a super class. Area method is an abstract method and width is the attribute right here. So what we have to do is create two subclasses, square and circle, which and we have to also know their area. So yeah, for the square, we're going to use the formula width into width, which is the square of width. And for the circle, we are going to use formula pi into width into width. So yeah, you can refer to the sample input and output. Now let's begin with the code. Before that, like, share, subscribe to my channel and press the notification bell for further updates. So, class square extends shape. If we don't write the words extends and shape, then class square will be considered a different class. Curly braces and let's go down. So, square equal to uh, in brackets int w int w is integer width this is the input taken from the computer now let's open the curly braces and go down again so yeah this dot width which was used by us in the previous videos as well this will be equal to w which means the input is the computer and this dot width are t. Now let's give a semicolon and go further. Now we're gonna go down and write the next part. So public void area, which is already given to us over here, which is a void area, but we're gonna add public instead of abstract. Nothing inside the brackets, another curly brace, and let's go down. So system.out.println, because we are the, we're gonna print the main part of the class square. So system.out.println, and that will be this dot dot with star, I mean asterisk, which means multiplied by this dot width. Now let's give a curly brace and the end of this part. Now we're gonna go for class circle. Class circle extends shape again. Shape curly braces. Let's go down. So circle circle end. Again, it will be int w because the width will be same, but later on it will be x for square and y for circle. Let's open curly braces again and go down. Again, same step, which is this dot width is equal to w. And let's end the line. Over here again, we're gonna go down and start with a new part, which is the same thing, public void area. So public void area. I'm sorry. Public void area. Now we're going to do the same thing dot out dot print and then so system dot out dot 
print ln and here we're going to use it with the formula which is pi into width into width so pi into this dot width into this dot width so yeah now let's run the code to see whether it works or not so there is one mistake made by us is that pi is not a symbol that which the symbol for pi is math dot pi so yeah now let's see the test case so the first one is 12 where in 12 square is 144 and for 5 math dot pi into 5 into 5 will be 78.5398163916339 The test case two. For the first one, it will be seven, and as we know, seven square is forty-nine. And for the input of the circle, it is one. So pi into one into one will be three point one four one five nine two six five three five eight nine seven nine three. So yeah, guys, that's all for today's video. If you like the video, just like, share, subscribe, and all press notification bell for further updates so yeah meet you later bye bye